Hi, second graders. It's Mr. Schaefer again. Um, we're finishing up our two-dimensional shapes or polygons this week with a lesson today about regular and irregular polygons. I'm going to explain what that means and how to tell the difference. So, regular and irregular polygons. First, I want to touch on parallel lines. I know you learned a little bit about those on Wednesday. If you look at this chest of drawers, I can see two pairs of parallel lines. Can you find where they are? All right, so here's one pair of parallel lines. They go right across the top and right across the bottom. We know these are parallel lines because they stay the same distance apart. Do you see another pair of parallel lines? All right, if you guessed that it's on the sides, you were right. The side lines also stay the same distance apart. This means that this shape is a, hmm, well, it's a quadrilateral because it has four sides. It's also a rectangle because the vertices are all the same. And we have two lines that are the same length and another two lines that are the same length. Now, is this a square? No, because a square has to have four equal sides. Let's look again at this diagram. So we know that quadrilaterals are polygons with four sides and four vertices. So these three shapes are quadrilaterals, but they don't fit into any of our other categories because there are rules for everything. There are rules for rectangles. If you're a rectangle, you have to have two sides that are equal and another two sides that are equal and all of your vertices have to be the same. Now with a rhombus, all four sides have to be equal, but your vertices don't have to be the same. Now with squares, you have four sides that are equal and your vertices have to be the same. That's why a square is a rectangle, a square is a rhombus, and a square is a quadrilateral. All right, now that we've reviewed a little bit, I wanna to talk to you about regular polygons. So the rules for something to be a regular polygon are that it has to have sides that are all the same length. And a regular polygon has to have vertices that are all the same. So let's look at this shape. This is a triangle. A triangle, this triangle, not all triangles, but this triangle has sides that are all the same length. And if you look at the vertices, look at this vertex. It's the same as this vertex, it's just flipped around. It stays exactly the same. It doesn't get bigger, it doesn't get smaller. It stays exactly the same, you're just flipping it around. So these vertices are exactly the same on each corner of the triangle. So is the triangle a regular polygon? Yes, it is. And bonus question, is the shape a quadrilateral? No, because a quadrilateral has to have four sides and four vertices. This is a triangle. It only has three sides and three vertices. All right, so let's look at this shape and see if it's a regular polygon. What shape is this? It's a quadrilateral and it's a rectangle. Now let's look and see if the sides are all the same length. This side is the same as this side. Oh. This side is not the same length, so it is not a regular polygon. Even though all the vertices are the same, it is not a regular polygon. The reason is because it doesn't have sides that are all the same length. Two of the sides are shorter than the other two. So this is called an irregular polygon. Everybody say irregular polygon. When we put that ear at the beginning of regular, it means not. All right, let's look at this shape. Let's see if this is a regular polygon. So it has to have sides that are all the same length and it has to have vertices that are all the same. Does it have sides that are all the same length? Yes, it does. Now let's look at the vertices. So here's one vertex, here's another vertex. Oh, look up here at this vertex. These two vertices are actually smaller than the other two. If you look at this one, it looks really, really wide like this. But then the ones at the top and bottom 
are really small like this. So that's how we know it is an irregular polygon. Now this is a rhombus. Is a rhombus a quadrilateral? Yes, because it has four sides and four vertices. But this rhombus is irregular because it does not have all the same vertices. All right, what about this shape? The shape is one, two, three, four, five, six sides. That makes it a hexagon. And it is regular because all of the sides are the same length and all of the vertices are exactly the same. So we know that this is a regular polygon. Now it's your turn. You're going to go back onto the class story and you're going to look at the page of objects. All of the shapes you're going to sort into regular and irregular polygons. And for bonus points, try to sort them also into quadrilaterals and not quadrilaterals. All right, I will see you guys later. Have a great weekend. Bye.